The remnants of Zeta will come through today, and another low-pressure system will come through for our Friday. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. Let's get you started with our alerts that we have in the area. We have a flood alert in effect for all of Sound Jersey throughout the day today. We also have a gale warning that will start out on the waters at 4 p.m. today and go all the way into the day on Friday. We will have heavy rain pretty much all day long. It is a washout here in Sound Jersey, but there are two exceptions to this. And the first one will be between noon to 4 p.m. when we are anticipating breaks in the activity, especially if you're in Cape May County. If you're in Cape May itself, you could even go drive for two or three hours with this as a front. We'll sit just, just around the Route 40 corridor. Winds will be to the south. If you're south of there, they'll be from the east if you're north of there. Now, the second round of, of a break would be between 8 p.m. to midnight as we pass the torch from the remnants of Zeta to the secondary low pressure system. Now, the remnants of Zeta could go right over Cape May County. If it doesn't, it's going to stay just to the south. And that means winds will be cranking as we go into our Thursday night. We are anticipating winds from the east, northeast, everywhere Thursday evening, sustained 25 to 35 miles an hour along the shore. And in Cape May County, we'll see gusts up to 50 and when you have gusts up to 50, that's when we talk about isolated power outages or even some down tree branches. So make sure, if you can, during some kind of dry time that we see this afternoon, cut down any loose tree branches that you have. Make sure to take in any loose objects as well. For the rest of the area, sustained winds will be 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts of 40. Windy day, yes, but nothing that should bring any damage or any problems here. Now, after midnight, we do see rain that comes back, and it will be steady rain. However, I don't think it's heavy rain here. That's from the secondary low pressure system that we're talking about that should stay far enough to our south and east that we escape the worst of it. Still, we are anticipating, again, steady rain for the rest of the overnight hours for our Thursday night, then Friday morning, and then it ends sometime midday or early afternoon on Friday, maybe by two o'clock here. When you add everything up, rainfall totals will be between one and a half to three inches with the highest totals in Ocean County. And I am anticipating on Thursday, one to two inches of rain. So we aren't talking about areas of roadway and even some streaming creek flooding. And for those of you along the Morris River, as we go into later today on Friday and Saturday, would not rule out some water getting pretty high close to overflowing from their banks. Let's talk about a different kind of flooding, and that is the tidal flooding. We're anticipating two rounds of coastal flooding, but one's really the only impactful one. This is going to be the Friday morning high tide. We will have an east-northeast to northeast wind during this time, and I do believe we're in widespread minor flood stage. That's when you start to see bridges and roads closed for a couple of hours, and you don't want to drive your car through that salt water. That is salt water and will corrode your car, and if you live along the Barrier Islands or along the bays, make sure to move your cars if you need to. Now, I would not rule out places in the Great Egg Harbor Bay, getting over to Townsend Inlet, that we get into moderate flood stage. If we do, just moderate flood stage, but that's when you start to see water getting into some of the unraised homes and businesses in the vulnerable spots. The Friday p.m. high tide should be just in spotty minor flood stage. We'll have a northerly wind that's an offshore wind. That is good news for us here, and I don't think that we see any coastal flooding for Halloween, despite the full moon, which is also a blue moon, something we won't see again until 2039. As we go into the afternoon on Friday, I don't anticipate to see much sun. I do anticipate it to be in the 40s. High temperatures will be 50 to 55, but that's during the morning. During the afternoon, that northerly wind will be in the 40s. Wind chills around 40 degrees, that strong northerly wind. So it will be cold out there for high school football if we have those games. They could get postponed to Saturday. And then we'll start to clear out as we go into Friday night, and temperatures will fall. We will be in the 40s, eventually getting into 30s. Low temperature Saturday morning, just below 32 degrees. And it is our first widespread freeze of the year here on mainland parts of South Jersey. Over at the shore, even, we'll be in the upper 30s. So plenty chilly for our Halloween. Halloween itself, chilly, yes, but also with plenty of sunshine. High temperatures will be around 50 degrees. That's 10 degrees below average. Evening trick-or-treating forecast, temperatures in the 40s here. And remember, we fall back as we go Saturday night into Sunday morning. So make sure to turn back your clocks. Sunday, we'll have temperatures in the 60s. You can follow me on social media for the latest. We'll be giving you updates all day long here, especially at the anniversary of Sandy today. If you go to our website, thepressofat.com slash weather, everything you need to know about this storm and then the second storm to come over the next two days.